You're watching Breakfast Central on News Central. We are Africa First. It's time to take you straight into the papers, the front pages. That's what we're going to. Don't forget, you can drop in a comment or two. You can also follow us, tweet us, and feel free to chat with us on WhatsApp. You'll find a number there on the screen any time of the day. But this morning, let's start off with the front pages. And our first will definitely be from West Africa. And we're looking at the Nigerian Tribune this morning. And it reads and it talks about politics in the nation, Nigeria. Uh, PDP says autumn panel, autumn panel dumps zoning, throws presidential contest open. That means anybody, irrespective of your tribe, irrespective of the region of Nigeria you're from, the only criteria they're asking for first is that you be a Nigerian uh, rather than the zoning. Now they've truly open so anybody can come under the PDP umbrella. Well, you can get more details on that from page five of the Nigerian Tribune this morning. You can see this picture here. We have the Oyo State Governor, Governor um, Sheyi Makinde, uh, and his political um, um, aspirants as well. They're all coming out for the presidential seat under that party. This all happened at the, um, the government house in Agoli Ibadan just yesterday. There's more details on that as well. Page 2 and 21 has a worrying story. West Africa faces worst food crisis. 27 million people suffering from hunger. This is coming from 11 international organizations. Now they've come out to also say another 11 million may be pushed into hunger in the next three months. Now the Russia and the Ukraine war that is going, I mean, it talks about inflation, hunger loom in Africa as the ex-envoy is coming out to warn people in that region. There's more details and also on pages 20 and 21, lamentations as food, household product prices soar nationwide. Now, I know I've personally experienced that in the market. Um, going to the market <laughs> in recent times, everything has almost tripled, Joe. I mean, almost tripled in some cases. In some cases, it's not so much of a difference, but on average, you have double the price or triple the price in the market as we speak. It is quite an unfortunate situation right now. Um, on the upper right hand, a very sad story. I mean, the Nigerian Tribune is flooded and loaded with a lot of not so exciting stories. 17 soldiers feared dead, 23 injured as gunmen attack military base in Kaduna. Hmm. Kaduna is once again back in the papers, but you can go to the Nigerian Tribune for more details. All right, living in the Nigerian Tribune now, let's move on to uh, Uganda, where we have the Daily Monitor. Daily Monitor has the header there, what killed Olaya? What killed Ulaya? There is indeed a great expose. The immediate cause of death was multi-organ failure. Oluchi, and to our viewers, multi-organ failure. The heart failed, the lungs failed, hmm. the liver failed, the kidney failed as well. He suffered total bone marrow suppression, Whoa. worsened by multiple previous chemotherapy sessions. So uh, that's, that's the sad story there you find. So it's an expose, a deeper explanation to what caused uh, one of the biggest names uh, in the history of judiciary in uh, Uganda. His name, Olanya. Yes, what caused his death? And you'll find out when you read. Post-mortem report, the health minister, Dr. Jane Ruth uh, Aseng, says Olanya's death followed failure of his liver and uh, just as I mentioned, the others as well. Mm. Anyway. Let's take a look at the uh, <clears throat> other stories you have there on the front page. Uh, news, uh, uh, Karim Mojong Warriors Raid uh, Kapele Biong uh, Katakwi. Uh, that's another one as well. And then you also have um, Homes. How safe is having power lines over your property, Oluchi? That question just at the bottom there on your right. How safe? In Lagos, in Nigeria, we have a lot of power lines. And, and over. It, People it's even highly live. unsafe, Joe. Yeah. Highly unsafe and risky. All right, let's move on to the very next paper. We are looking at the Sowetan paper this morning. Just one story we will be looking at. Um, crime human, crime victims' right, I beg your pardon. Arrest shoddy police work. That's what it's coming out to say on page three. Now, it talks about the ruling may clear way for multi-million rand lawsuits against the Minister of Police. That's also the big major story coming out from South Africa this morning. Also, you can see Tiger Wood there, the golf legend. He has come out to announce his plan is plans to return at the Masters in Augusta. Yeah, you can get more details from the Sowetan this morning. Away from the Sowetan, the last paper this morning has to do with the Namibian, taking you to Namibia. That one there says 890 mass houses empty for seven years. Ah-ah. Uh -uh. Why? When people do not have where to sleep, 
well. And the houses are empty. Is the building fit for occupants to move into? That's a big question. Mm. Was the project fully completed? Um, were, were there litigations back and forth between the parties involved and the stakeholders involved in all of this? Because nobody will see a, a building that is empty and affordable mm. and not want to move into. So there must be reasons um, as to the situation there. There must be reasons indeed. I agree with you. IPPR raises red flag, questions transparency around $143 billion dollars uh, a green hydrogen project that's 143 billion namibian dollars that's what it says and then uh, one last one at the top there just i'll uh, just take this one it says which bull traditional leader loses official status how does he do that anyway go pick up the namibian